Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is the uh, first PC tutorial. Haven't done one of these in absolutely fucking years. These are going to be like a little kind of filler videos in between No Man's Sky. Um, so don't expect a lot of them, but the ones I do should hopefully be of help. Now, if you aren't subbed to this channel, then chances are you don't give a shit, so I won't ramble. But today's tutorial... For the very first one, I thought it would be right to do arguably one of the most essential things you can do if you own a PC and you game on PC. And of course, I'm talking about installing the Metro skin for Steam. So, as you know, Steam has this very dated and kind of ugly unrefined look which is getting updated but christ knows when the official one will be out but steam looks like this normally we all know that now arguably it's not the best interface and because of that steam supports custom skins and one of the most popular skins for steam is a skin called metro this essentially makes it a little bit more windows 10-esque just a lot slicker a lot less kind of uh, dated and grey. It's hard to explain, but I will show you how to install it. So, first and foremost, what you want to do is head over to this link right here. This will be in the description for you, so you can just click on it, head over to it. And on the right, there is a big purple download button. You just want to give that a little click, and it will download something called 4.3 point one as a zip folder so bearing in mind you will need winrar or 7zip or any kind of extracting tool for doing this but i think now most computers come bundled with winrar with windows 10 not entirely sure but what we're going to do is right click on the download and click show in folder so you can see i have multiple ones where i've been trialing this um so all you're going to want to do is just cut the download Head over to your desktop and paste it to your desktop. So once you have the zip folder here, all we're going to do is right click on it and click extract to 4.3.1. You won't have the little thing in brackets. So click that. That'll uh, do its thing depending on how fucking beefy your computer is. Depends how quick that'll take. But once that's done, you should get a actual folder with the same name, but instead of it being a zip folder, it's a proper folder. So you can open it up and you've got all of this shit in here, which quite frankly, you do not need. So once you have that on your desktop, you're basically halfway to doing it. Up next is uh, locate where your Steam is installed to. So for me, Steam is installed on my E drive. So I'm going to head over to my E drive and you want to find program files times 86. You want to scroll down until you find the Steam folder. And once you're inside the Steam folder, there should be another folder called Skins. So what you want to do is crack this folder open and you can see that there's a readme text. Um, this is all about creating skins and quite frankly, you don't need to read this. So don't worry about that. This is only for people that actually want to make skins. So you want to keep this open, just move it to the side or what have you. And you want to grab your extracted folder, which you just did. And you want to cut and paste that into the skins folder, as you can see there. Again, how long this takes depends on likely how good your computer is. So realistically, we don't need that too in brackets. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, but to be fair, it doesn't really matter what it's called. As long as the internals are there, then everything is fine. Once we're done with that, we can actually shut that down. We're now officially done with that and we can head back into Steam. So from up here, you want to click on Steam in the top left and go to settings. Now from here, what you want to do is actually find the interface. And down here, there's a load of shit, which again, you don't need to know. But the one thing you do need to know is this little box right here that says select the skin you wish Steam to use. So from here, you can see we have the default and then we now have 4.3.1 or Metro, which we just installed. So if we click on this skin and then we hit OK, it will ask you to restart Steam. This is just a thing which computers do. So all you wanna do is restart it. But as you can see, we are currently on Steam and it's the exact same uh, profile. It's exactly where we left it, but now we have the Metro skin installed. And instantly you can see a difference. You can see how goddamn nice it looks. 
So that is all there for you, and after that, you don't need to do anything else. If you exit out of Steam and you decide to reopen it, it's not going to reset. It's not going to take you back to this disgusting 2007 Steam. It will continue with the Metro skin for as long as you keep it enabled. Now, for whatever reason, if you wanted to disable this, you quite simply go up on the left, go to settings, and go back to interface and simply select the default skin and do what have you. So that is quite literally it. There is nothing else you really need to know about that. In terms of Metro updating and Steam updating, that's the only thing you will have to keep in mind because unfortunately, Metro doesn't automatically update this you know, little folder that you have on your computer to align with the newest version of Steam. If a new version of Steam is released, then chances are it will likely break the skin. That is why you keep heading back to this site right here and there should be a newer version, which does come out fairly quickly, to be honest. That's the only thing you might notice that half your skin is missing after a Steam update. That's just because it is broken now, but there should be a new release fairly soon. But now that you have that, you finally have a aesthetically pleasing steam and things are just a ton easier so i hope that helped guys and uh, if it did help then please do feel free to leave a like on the video and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then that'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skin boot signing out